again we have already done a, a case when n is an odd number so we have got pretty much background how to do some problems like this so if we are given n is an even number we can write it like this let n equals to 2m as supposed m is any natural number we must go on we can directly write the mean of n natural numbers is sum of n natural numbers divided by n terms okay n into n plus 1 by 2 sum of n natural numbers divided by n okay we have some cancellations n plus 1 by 2 putting the value of 2m into n can we just write it like this yeah okay we must move forward upon the profound process how to find the mean deviation of natural numbers okay we have a formula for this we must write r equals to 1 till n putting the modulus is r minus x bar putting the value of n initially we have got some exercise in doing so doing these problems you can have faith upon there can be fun in doing a statistics too okay we are going to break break or not break let's do it next time can't we just write the value of x bar also okay we should write Save paper, save country. Going on like this. We again come to a fork where we are going to use our profound result. You can check that by later and send me out too we can break this sigma into two sigmas that's so much profound okay Can't we just write m plus 1? There is some correlations. Final limit. Okay. Putting the mod. R minus m plus half. Putting the modulus. Then big brackets. Square ones. okay you must see here if we put uh, the first term in the modulus we have the modulus function over here and in the function we see if we first put uh, r equals 1 in the uh, in the statement so we get a negative answer this suggests us that the the whole expression is going to be a negative and mod mod is to mod is to add negative in the negative signs to negative expressions to make it positive quantity why not just make it here okay removing removing the modulus and adding the curly braces as we did earlier in the first section okay
putting the curly braces on as remove as we have removed the mod again you are a clever observer i suppose it so so if you put m plus one in the r place you but just guess it so and and you have the uh, ability to solve the further steps don't ponder over so long just go on math is like that okay if you put m plus one in the r place you see m plus one minus m you you see it is a positive quantity so no need of negative sign actually whole of expression is going to be a positive then why need of a mod just remove it adding the curly braces okay i must suggest you to watch the previous one as i might not have been able to correspond so much into it because we have developed a practice but you must watch both these are profound questions on the statistics okay negative times negative is positive again this is a constant why not put beside the this is going to be a clear one should we write one okay for your clarity let me add just more space putting the negative sign am i ang aligned okay okay sorry i have just not mentioned that this has to be on beside or you have you are a clever observer yeah okay putting the big brackets on they are the edges one okay so i want to make clear that you must use some fast forward feature to for time measurement M plus half by M. Again, this is a crucial part. You must pay attention to it. We add the initial terms. 3 M plus 1. M. M plus 1 by the. This is a constant. So m plus half taken outside this you have got a constant so you must notice that the number of terms in this is m so uh, one is left here so number of times one plus one plus one plus one not plus one it just multiplies m times so here we place m you must be that clever enough and observe so play cleverly that you define each and every crucial step so what we have got is a pretty bit of mess but you can see the easy options here yeah this got cancelled out well we have got some easy stuffs here put this one first as it is negative 
3 m plus 1 minus m by 2 m plus 1 if we take common by that side 2 plus 2 into 2 4 m 3 m plus 1 minus m minus 1 okay this cancel out so what we have got here is 2 m m got cancel out is 2 m okay it is m by 2 again we must move on the other side and we see this is a earlier assumption so m equals m by 2 so what we have got in terms of n is n by 2 times 2 n by 4 all right this is an easy stuff yeah this is because you did earlier a uh, hard stuff there can be much more of these if you try hard thank you